Julia Child, Julia Carolyn Child, Namak Williams, August 15, 1912, August 12, 2004, was an American chef, author and television personality. She is recognized for bringing French cuisine to the American public with her debut cookbook, Mastering the Art of French Cooking, and her subsequent television programs, the most notable of which was The French Chef, which premiered in 1963. Julia Child was born Julia Carolyn McWilliams in 1912, in Pasadena, California, the daughter of John McWilliams, Jr., a Princeton University graduate and prominent land manager, and his wife, the former Julia Carolyn, Caro, Weston, a paper company heiress whose father, Byron Curtis Weston, served as lieutenant governor of Massachusetts. Child was the eldest of three, followed by a brother, John McWilliams III, and sister, Dorothy Cousins. In high school, Child was sent to the Catherine Branson School in Ross, California, which was at the time a boarding school. At six feet, two inches, 1.88 meters tall, Child played tennis, golf, and basketball as a youth and continued to play sports while attending Smith College, from which she graduated in 1934 with a major in history. Child grew up with a cook who served her family. She did not observe or learn how to cook from the family's cook. Child did not learn to cook until she met her would-be husband, Paul, who grew up in a family very interested in food. Following her graduation from college, Child moved to New York City, where she worked as a copywriter for the advertising department of W&J Sloan. Child joined the Office of Strategic Services, OSS, after finding that she was too tall to enlist in the Women's Army Corps, WACs, or in the U.S. Navy's waves. She began her OSS career as a typist at its headquarters in Washington, but because of her education and experience soon was given a more responsible position as a top-secret researcher working directly for the head of OSS, General William J. Donovan. As a research assistant in the Secret Intelligence Division, she typed 10,000 names on white note cards to keep track of officers. For a year, she worked at the OSS Emergency Rescue Equipment Section. ERES, in Washington, D.C., as a file clerk and then as an assistant to developers of a shark repellent needed to ensure that sharks would not explode ordnance targeting German U-boats. In 1944, she was posted to Kandy, Ceylon, now Sri Lanka, where her responsibilities included registering, cataloging and channeling a great volume of highly classified communications for the OSS's clandestine stations in Asia. She was later posted to Kunmyung, China where she received the emblem of meritorious civilian service as head of the registry of the OSS Secretariat. When Child was asked to solve the problem of too many OSS underwater explosives being set off by curious sharks, Child's solution was to experiment with cooking various concoctions as a shark repellent, which were sprinkled in the water near the explosives and repelled sharks. Still in use today, the experimental shark repellent marked Child's first foray into the world of cooking, for her service. Child received an award that cited her many virtues, including her drive and inherent cheerfulness. As with other OSS records, her file was declassified in 2008, however, unlike other files, her complete file is available online. While in Kuen Myung, she met Paul Cushing Child, also an OSS employee, and the two were married September 1, 1946, in Lumberville, Pennsylvania later moving to Washington, D.C. A New Jersey native who had lived in Paris as an artist and poet, Paul was known for his sophisticated palate, and introduced his wife to fine cuisine. He joined the United States Foreign Service, and in 1948 the couple moved to Paris when the U.S. State Department assigned Paul there as an exhibits officer with the United States Information Agency. The couple had no children. Child repeatedly recalled her first meal in Rouen as a culinary revelation. Once, she described the meal of oysters, sole meuniere, and fine wine to the New York Times as an opening up of the soul and spirit for me. In Paris, she attended the famous Cordon Bleu cooking school and later studied privately with Max Bugnard and other master chefs. She joined the women's cooking club Le Circle des Gourmets, through which she met Simone Beck, who was writing a French cookbook for Americans with her friend Louisette Bertol. Beck proposed that Child work with them to make the book appeal to Americans. In 1951, Child, Beck, and Bertel began to teach cooking to American women in Child's Paris kitchen, calling their informal school Le Col des Trois Gourmandes, the school of the three food lovers. For the next decade, as the Childs moved around Europe and finally to Cambridge, Massachusetts, the three researched and repeatedly tested recipes. Child translated the French into English, making the recipes detailed, interesting, and practical.
1963, the Childs built a home near the Provence town of Place Cassier in the hills above Cannes on property belonging to co-author Simone Beck and her husband, Jean Fishbaker. The Childs named it La Pichon, a Provençal word meaning the little one but over time the property was often affectionately referred to simply as La Pitch. The three would-be authors initially signed a contract with publisher Houghton Mifflin, which later rejected the manuscript for seeming too much like an encyclopedia. Finally, when it was first published in 1961 by Alfred Aiknopf, the 726-page Mastering the Art of French Cooking was a bestseller and received critical acclaim that arrived in part from the American interest in French culture in the early 1960s. Lauded for its helpful illustrations and precise attention to detail and for making fine cuisine accessible, the book is still in print and is considered a seminal culinary work. Following this success, Child wrote magazine articles and a regular column for the Boston Globe newspaper. She would go on to publish nearly 20 titles under her name and with others. Many, though not all, were related to her television shows. Her last book was the autobiographical My Life in France, published posthumously in 2006 and written with her grandnephew. Alex Prude apostrophe The book recounts Child's life with her husband, Paul Cushing Child, in post-World War II France. A 1962 appearance on a book review show on what was then the National Educational Television, NET, station of Boston, WGBH-TV, now a major public broadcasting service station, led to the inception of her first television cooking show after viewers enjoyed her demonstration of how to cook an omelette. The French Chef had its debut on February 11, 1963, on WGBH and was immediately successful. The show ran nationally for 10 years and won Peabody and Emmy Awards, including the first Emmy Award for an educational program. Though she was not the first television cook, Child was the most widely seen. She attracted the broadest audience with her cheery enthusiasm, distinctively warbly voice, and unpatronizing, unaffected manner. In 1972, the French Chef became the first television program to be captioned for the deaf, even though this was done using the preliminary technology of open captioning. Child's second book, The French Chef Cookbook, was a collection of the recipes she had demonstrated on the show. It was soon followed in 1971 by Mastering the Art of French Cooking, Volume 2, again in collaboration with Simone Beck, but not with Louisette Bertel, with whom the professional relationship had ended. Child's fourth book, From Julia Child's Kitchen, was illustrated with her husband's photographs and documented the color series of the French chef, as well as provided an extensive library of kitchen notes compiled by Child during the course of the show. Julia Child had a large impact on American households and housewives. Because of the technology in the 60s, the show was unedited, causing her blunders to appear in the final version and ultimately lend authenticity and approachability to television. According to Toby Miller in Screening Food, French Cuisine and the Television Palette, one mother he spoke to said that sometimes all that stood between me and insanity was hardy Julia Child because of Child's ability to soothe and transport her. In addition, Miller notes that Child's show began before the feminist movement of the 1960s, which meant that the issues housewives and women faced were somewhat ignored on television. In the 1970s and 1980s, she was the star of numerous television programs, including Julia Child and Company, Julia Child and More Company and Dinner at Julia's. For the 1979 book Julia Child and More Company, she won a National Book Award in category Current Interest. In 1981, she founded the American Institute of Wine and Food, with vintners Robert Mondavi and Richard Graff, and others, to advance the understanding, appreciation and quality of wine and food, a pursuit she had already begun with her books and television appearances. In 1989, she published what she considered her magnum opus, a book and instructional video series collectively entitled The Way to Cook. Child starred in four more series in the 1990s that featured guest chefs, cooking with master chefs, in Julia's Kitchen with master chefs, baking with Julia, and Julia Child and Jacques Pepin cooking at home. She collaborated with Jacques Pepin many times for television programs and cookbooks. All of Child's books during this time stemmed from the television series of the same names. Child's use of ingredients like butter and cream has been questioned by food critics and modern-day nutritionists. She addressed these criticisms throughout her career, predicting that a fanatical fear of food would take over the country's dining habits, and that focusing too much on nutrition takes the pleasure from enjoying food. In a 1990 interview, Child said, Everybody is overreacting. If fear of food continues, it will be the death of gastronomy in the United States. Fortunately, 
The French don't suffer from the same hysteria we do. We should enjoy food and have fun. It is one of the simplest and nicest pleasures in life. Despite Child's popularity with professional cooks and the American public, some writers have criticized Child's work. In The Taste of America, a compendium of American food written by John Hess and Karen Hess, the authors claim that Julia Child is partly responsible in a betrayal of original American ideals, causing American cuisine to deteriorate in quality and taste. According to the Hesses, Child performs this betrayal by recommending inferior commercial products as substitutes for the original ingredients, trying to make food more appealing to the Americans by making it sweet, and using the idea of Frenchness to give food value instead of its taste. After the death of her beloved friend Simone Beck, Child relinquished La Pichon after a month-long stay in June 1992 with her family, her niece, Fila, and close friend and biographer Noel Riley Fitch. She turned the keys over to Jean Fishbaker's sister, just as she and Paul had promised nearly 30 years earlier. Also in 1992, Julia spent five days in Sicily at the invitation of Regal Alley Winery. American journalist Bob Spitz spent a brief time with Julia during that period while he was researching and writing his then working title, History of Eating and Cooking in America. In 1993, Child provided the voice of Dr. Dot Bleep in the animated film, We're Back, a Dinosaur's Story. Spitz took notes and made many recordings of his conversation with Child, and these later formed the basis of a secondary biography on Child, published August 7, 2012, Knopf, five days before the centennial of her birth date. Paul Child, who was ten years older than his wife, died in 1994 after living in a nursing home for five years following a series of strokes in 1989. In 2001, Child moved to a retirement community donating her house and office to Smith College, which later sold the house. She donated her kitchen, which her husband designed with high counters to accommodate her height, and which served as the set for three of her television series, to the National Museum of American History, where it is now on display. Her iconic copper pots and pans were on display at Copia in Napa, California, until August 2009 when they were reunited with her kitchen at the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History in Washington. D. C. In 2000, Child received the French Legion of Honor and was elected a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 2000. She was awarded the U.S. Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2003. She received honorary doctorates from Harvard University, Johnson and Wales University, 1995, Smith College, her alma mater, Brown University, 2000, and several other universities. In 2007, Child was inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame. On August 12, 2004, Child died of kidney failure in Montecito, California, three days before her 92nd birthday. Her last meal was French onion soup. Child ended her last book, My Life in France, with, Thinking back on it now reminds that the pleasures of table, and of life, are infinite, toujours bon appétit. In 1995, Julia Child established the Julia Child Foundation for Gastronomy and Culinary Arts a private charitable foundation to make grants to further her life's work. The foundation, originally set up in Massachusetts, later moved to Santa Barbara, California, where it is now headquartered. Inactive until after Julia's death in 2004, the foundation makes grants to other nonprofits. The grants support primarily gastronomy, the culinary arts, and the further development of the professional food world, all matters of paramount importance to Julia Child during her lifetime. The Foundation's website provides a dedicated page listing the names of grant recipients with a description of the organization and the grant provided by the Foundation. One of the grant recipients is Heritage Radio Network which covers the world of food, drink and agriculture. Beyond making grants, the Foundation was also established to protect Julia Child's legacy. It is the organization to approach to seek permission to use images of Julia Child and or excerpts of her work. Many of these rights are jointly held with other organizations like her publishers in the Schlesinger Library at the Radcliffe Institute at Harvard University who may also need to be contacted. Recently, the foundation has been more active in protecting these posthumous rights. Well known for her opposition to endorsements, the foundation follows a similar policy regarding the use of Julia's name and image for commercial purposes. The Julia Child Rose, known in the UK as the Absolutely Fabulous Rose, is a golden butter slash gold floribunda rose named after Child. On September 26, 2014, 
the U.S. Postal Service issued 20 million copies of the Celebrity Chefs Forever stamp series, which featured portraits by Jason Seiler of five American chefs, Julia Child, Joyce Chen, James Beard, Edna Lewis, and Felipe Rojas Lombardi. Awards Nominations Child was a favorite of audiences from the moment of her television debut on public television in 1963 and she was a familiar part of American culture and the subject of numerous references, including numerous parodies in television and radio programs and skits. Her great success on air may have been tied to her refreshingly pragmatic approach to the genre, I think you have to decide who your audience is. If you don't pick your audience, you're lost because you're not really talking to anybody. My audience is people who like to cook, who want to really learn how to do it. In 1996, Julia Child was ranked number 46 on TV Guide's 50 Greatest TV Stars of All Time. In 2002, Child was the inspiration for the Julie Slash Julia Project, a popular cooking blog by Julie Powell that was the basis of Powell's best-selling book, Julie and Julia, 365 Days, 524 Recipes, One Tiny Apartment Kitchen, published in 2005, the year following Child's death. The paperback version of the book was retitled Julie and Julia, My Year of Cooking Dangerously. The blog and book, along with Child's own memoir My Life in France, in turn inspired the 2009 feature film Julie and Julia in which Meryl Streep portrayed Child. For her performance, Streep was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actress. Child is reported to have been unimpressed by Powell's blog, believing Powell's determination to cook every recipe and mastering the art of French cooking in a year to be a stunt. In an interview, Child's editor, Judith Jones, said of Powell's blog. On March 15, 2016, Twitch.tv started to stream Julia Child's show The French Chef. This event was in celebration of both the launch of the cooking section of Twitch.tv and the anniversary of Child's graduation from Le Cordon Bleu. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.